Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. And now in this video, we will be working up with the customization. So this is the best part. Okay, so some of the teams give you the ability to customize your website. You can see um, that here it says customize. Okay, um, I would have wanted to show you about the teams first, but I wanted to tell you about the customize right now because um, so you should just understand this and then we're going to be moving on with the team. Because team is so interesting part and the customize is not it is a bit but the team is more so let's just go ahead and let's quickly just work with the customize so in if I just click here you can see a new window comes here and here I can customize my website completely so here you can see it says Tanzila Rahman and here it says just another WordPress website here it is the menu here are everything and then here it is so where this pencil appears i can customize that like i can customize this image i can customize this title i can customize this this and this so let's quickly just go ahead and overview all of them let's go to site identity so in here i can add a logo here like um if i want to add the logo so let's suppose that i want to add a logo i want to go to upload files i'm going to go to select files and then I am going to go to the desktop and then mm, let's just choose this to be the logo. Okay, so this is the logo that I have. I'm going to come here and I'm going to select it. Okay, and then I have to um, just crop it down. And so let's suppose that this is my logo. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit crop. So now it will appear here. Okay, and then you can see that logo is appearing and then this as well as appearing. So let's suppose that I want to remove these. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uncheck this because I'm, I just want to show the logo. So this is the logo that is coming and now it has changed the look of that. But I just want to remove the logo and I want to display the site title and the tagline is going to be um, web developer. Okay, so now you can see that I have this tagline. So I can add any tagline right here, but um, you can add it like web developer or you can add it like um, the best online company. Okay, so this is how it works. Okay, so now here, what I'm going to do right now, I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to go back. Okay, and then we have the color. So in the color, you can manage the color scheme. Okay, like you can manage it to be like dark if you want it to be dark and you can see that our website is now in the dark mode. I can see um, how created this looking. Okay, we have the custom color. So if you need the custom color, you can choose it. And that is coming here as the links color. So but I think I just like the dark one or the light one. Okay, and then we have the header text color. So you can pretty well manage the header text color if you want to. I'm going to make it uh, the white, complete white. Okay. And then we have to go back. We have the header media. So this is also important, guys. Um, this is like that. This is the media that we have. If you need any other image, you can add it. Or you can also add the video here as well. So let's suppose that I want to add a YouTube video. If I just go to youtube.com and then I want to add the video for website background video background loops okay um, this is the video so let's suppose that this is the video that I want to add I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna copy the link okay and okay let's just go ahead let's just come here and let's copy the link okay and I want to come here and I want to paste the link that's all and here you can see that the video will be coming so you can see um, how this is looking this is how the video is coming and this is looking pretty great. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit publish and that's all. The video is playing in the background. Same like this, I can choose any other video like um, if I want to use and that will be coming as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this because I just want to show a normal picture here. You can choose any other picture. Like if you want to, you can add a new image and then you can select it and then you can hit select and crop and then you can crop it the way you want. Then you have to hit crop image and that will be coming as your image. So let's see, how does it look? So now you can see um, how it is looking, okay? But I think I like this image one. I don't know why I'm lo looking so funny. So now you can see um, that we are totally done with this as well. Let's just go ahead and let's go back. 
and we have the menu right here so here you can manage the menu but um, we don't have to work with it since we already know about the menu and we can do that in the dashboard and then we have the widgets so you guys already know about the widgets that is why I don't have to tell you if I just go to blog and you can see these are the widgets right here I can make any changes and it will be in the live view then we have the home page settings so this is also right there and then we have the additional CSS so if you know CSS you can work with it but I would highly recommend you um, if you do not know it then that's nothing you can do work with it the CSS you can design your website without the CSS as well so um, you don't have to worry about this don't don't worry if you don't know the CSS okay because um, this is useless okay okay this is people use it okay because sometimes it is so useful but um, not um, every time okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna publish my website and that's all I'm done and in the next video we will be working up with the teams I'm gonna tell you what are the teams and how are they very used useful so in the next video we'll be working up with that goodbye